This picture, was taken on August 4, 1948, and published in a Chicago newspaper. Four young kids sitting on the front porch steps beside a sign that read for children for sale. The mother in the background turning away from the camera. All pictures tell a story, and this picture tells a mighty sad one. A story that left a lasting impact. And the scars, run deep. The photo first appeared in a newspaper in Indiana on August 5, 1948. The children looked posed and a bit confused as their pregnant mother hides her face from the photographer. The caption read, a big for sale sign in a Chicago yard mutely tells the tragic story of Mr. and Mrs. Ray Chalifu, who face eviction from their apartment, with no place to turn, the jobless coal truck driver, and his wife decided to sell their four children. Mrs. Lucille Chalifu turns her head from the camera, while her children look wonderingly. On the top stair are Lana, six, and Ray, five. Below are Milton, four, and Sue Ellen, two. No one knows how long the sign stood in the yard. Apparently shortly thereafter, the father abandoned the family. Relatives accused the mother of being paid to stage the photo, which may have been part of the story, but unfortunately, she was dead serious about selling her children. Within two years, all of the children in the picture, as well as the baby she was carrying at the time, were sold off to different homes. Ray Mills and her brother Milton, were sold to the Zotoman family on August 27, 1950. Their names were changed to Beverly and Kenneth, and although their birth mother's situation was dire, their new home wasn't much of salvation. They were often chained up in the barn and forced to work long hours in the field. Milton remembers being called a slave by the house owner, a label he accepted at the time, because he didn't understand what it meant. Although it seems that Ray and Milton were never officially adopted by their abusers, their brother David, who was in his mother's womb at the time of the photograph, was legally adopted by Harry and Lulla McDaniel, who only lived a few miles away. David, who says his adoptive parents were strict but loving and supportive, remembers riding out on his bike to see his siblings and unchaining them before going back home. Ray left home at 17, shortly after undergoing a brutally traumatic situation. As a young teen, she was kidnapped and raped, which resulted in pregnancy. She was sent away to a home for pregnant girls, and had her baby adopted when she returned. As Milton grew up, he reacted to the beatings, starvation, and other abuses with violent rages. A judge deemed him a menace to society, and he spent a number of years in a mental hospital after being forced to choose between that and a juvenile detention center. The siblings didn't know what happened to Lana and Sue Ellen. However, years later they were able to reconnect with them via social media. Lana had died in 1998 of cancer, but Sue Ellen Chalifu was still alive. Sue Ellen who was raised not far from her original home, growing up in Chicago's East Side neighborhood was so angry with her biological mother and said, she needs to be in hell, burning. Their mother remarried after selling and giving away her five children, and had four more daughters with her new husband. When her other children eventually came to see her, she's described as completely lacking love for them, or having any regret for letting them go. And Milton says, my birth mother, she never did love me. She didn't apologize for selling me. She hated me so much that she didn't care. But David had a different perspective on the situation, and he defended his mother's coldness as evidence of a different and hard scrabble world. David says, as soon as my mom saw me, she said, you look just like your father. She never apologized. But back then, it was survival. We're all human beings. We all make mistakes. She could have been thinking about the children and didn't want them to die. Who are we to judge? What's your idea about this photo, and the story behind it? Tell us in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.